uh, of course, the name says a lot of it. Um, after getting introduced to the practices, if you've been practicing them and you find that they're helpful and you want to deepen them and expand on those, then um, book three is for you. Uh, that is what I had in mind. The whole series I'm going to mention um, is meant to be uh, a pretty full introduction to the foundational practices of Tibetan Buddhism, in particular, the Namchak lineage within that tradition. Um, and so book three um, is still generalized enough. Uh, it isn't specific to our lineage, uh, but more to Tibetan Buddhism in general. So we've uh, moved into deepening into the practices of um, uh, Tibetan Buddhism, the very foundational ones and deepening them. So uh, Dong Lin, for example, which was introduced in book two, uh, <clears throat> it, it turns out that's one of four uh, of the boundless qualities, the immeasurable qualities. And so then I introduced the other three and again, give practice cards and a way to practice them, um, incorporating them into what I call the round robin, where you do calm abiding meditation known as shamatha, and then one of the four measurables back to shamatha and then closing out the meditation. And again, this only needs to take uh, a matter of a few minutes if you don't have a lot of time and it can be expanded to two hours if you have the time. And the important thing is that it happened daily. And then uh, in discussing the four boundless qualities, the four immeasurables, they won't be immeasurable if we don't address uh, resentments that we have towards some people. And so there's a, a chapter on forgiveness so that uh, we can explore that. You know, how can we drop our resentments so that we can really open our hearts to everyone, all and everyone. 